What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Brilliant Diamond walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, uh, we did a lot of stuff, you know, captured a few Pokemon here and there, but I failed to do this. I failed to check up on the trainer card. I always do that, guys, but I, you know, somewhat forgot. But here we go. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. Look at that. Sexy Stud Muffin AF. Draven. That's right. Look at that. Mm. Baby muscles and everything right here. Yes. And, uh, well, we've only been playing this game for like an hour. Uh, started it on my, my sister's birthday. But if you want to view the badges, press the Y button right here. And bam, look at the gym badges right here. Look at this. There's nothing. Absolutely nothing. But sooner rather than later, we're going to be getting about eight of those things right there. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else? Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the town map here, too. As you can see, town map is a little bit more organized than the last time, but look at this. Look at the trails and everything, and it's even showing the uh, Stark Mountain and everything. Let's see, what is this? What is this? Oh, yeah, survival area, the fight area, and I do believe this is uh, the resort area. So at some point in time, we're going to get there, and then the Pokemon League, they're showing us that. Hmm. I wonder what else we can actually find right here. So let's go. Let's go ahead and just move on into the next thing. Now, if you, if you press the R button, you're gonna be able to see the Poke Tech right there. I was going to say it's at the most inconvenient spot ever. That they probably should have nixed that or something like that. But no, you can actually pull down to the R and it'll just disappear. So we're gonna do that, guys. And uh, well, off screen, I actually went in and uh, got myself some items right there. Now. Let's see, what is this guy? Hey you! Yes you! That, with that cool scarf. You should have uh, seen a boy who came running er here, by here earlier. He ran past me so quickly that I couldn't even manage to say hello. Oh, great. I already see it coming, so I might as well just, uh... You know, I, I better get things ready because, uh... There's a disturbance in the force. Okay. So, let's go right ahead and, uh, yes. There he is. Bury himself. Hey, Draven! Tell me you got a little tougher. Me? Do you need to ask? Of course I got tougher. Come on, let's battle it out. Okay, so here we go, guys. Another Pokemon battle against Sequence Uocha himself, a berry, and... Well, he's gonna be coming out with his Starly. I probably should have came out with my... my, my Electric-type Pokemon, you know? Both at level 7. Uh, you know what? Screw this. Yeah, we're gonna go with Electro Star. Go ahead. I dare you. Attack me. You you ain't got the uh, the the quickness of a mongoose. The elusiveness of a uh, whatever. And well, because of that, Electro Star's Intimidate will lower this guy's physical attack. But you know, he wants to play. He wants to play the say like fire with fire right here. So what is going to happen is here comes the Thunder Shock and well another Growl attack. Yep, you gotta love, you, you, you gotta love the, uh, the Growl attack. So here we go, special attack, super effective, and <laughs> Barry's like, don't get cocky, kid, this ain't over yet. Okay, well, here we go. Let's get it. And, uh, well, obviously we, we know that our tackle attack won't work perfectly, but here comes a, uh, yeah. Yeah, here comes a Thundershock with the wind. All our Pokemon are growing, yes. And yeah, I caught I caught Hydra in the last episode. Now, I, I did say, guys, that I am not going to be using all these Pokemon on the team. I'm just simply catching them for the collection because, yes, we did have these in previous iterations and whatnot. So I kind of want to just, like, I want to do that. So can a guy do that? I don't know. So let's go with the Thundershock. And that was strong enough, but god dang, this Piplup is pretty strong. So here comes a pound attack from Piplup himself, and well, here comes another Thundershock. Come on, paralyze it. Damn it! My Pokemon's HP is low! This could be a bit tight! Okay, well, here comes another pound attack. And here comes a Thundershock. Please paralyze this guy. No! Okay, so we're gonna go straight to the bag. Again, I did, guy, I did get myself quite a few uh, items that way. You know, we could we could stay we could stay uh, you know perfectly fine and all that stuff. And here comes Electric Star coming back, and well, here comes the Growl attack. You know, Barry, it would be nice for you to actually it would be actually well, it actually be nice for you to actually attack me at some point. So let's go with a Thunder Shock right here, and uh, well, here comes a Pound attack again. Good gravy, and 
Thundershock, there it goes, and that is it. Holy crud, okay, so... Look at that! Okay, so we're getting some experience points, everybody's learning something. Charge, Inferno Mongrel's level 10, which is great. And, uh, well, just like that, Barry's not happy, that's right. <laughs> Those little ho devil horns don't really off suit you. Ha! What did you mean I lost? Well, that's it. That's the last time I'll ever you I'll ever lose. I'm going to be the wor or I'm going to be the world's toughest trainer. I hope you know that. The first thing to do is go to Orberg City uh, Pokemon Gym. I'm going to toughen up for that totally. Huh? Okay. Alrighty. So uh, I'll be right back with you guys. I got a little bit something to do right here. I'll be right back with you. Alrighty, I'm back, baby. Okay, so uh, when you're a very important person, you get a lot of important phone calls right here, guys, and that's exactly what happened with me. And well, this lady right here is like, did you see the first Pokemon to appear in battle is the top, the one on the top of your team list? Oh, okay. Alrighty. Now, I did mention in the last episode too that I was going to be, you know, uh, fast forwarding some of the stuff. Uh, the captures and all that stuff too, or you know, just the Pokemon battles, the uh, random battles. So if we do cross upon one of these guys, I am going to randomly just get out of here, guys. So let's go right ahead and just continue our adventure. Yes, we're not getting attacked by any Pokemon, and we're going to grab this first. And look at that—we get ourselves a Pokeball, which is great. It's always nice. And well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and go straight back to Inferno Mom because you know he is the leader of this whole pack right here. So. Let's go ahead and battle shorty short short shorts and I'm full of energy because I got my power from my Pokemon. You do, don't you, huh? Okay, so here we go. Youngster Michael would like to battle. And he's coming out with our Lord and Savior himself, Beedoof. Holy crud. Okay, so this Pokemon can learn anything. Just about anything, but yeah, this is not a tank. It's ridiculous, it really is. So here we go. Let's go right ahead and use an Ember attack. It does have Ton right here? Holy crud, I didn't even know that. Okay, so be do about to be doofing on the be do. There we go, and well, let's go right ahead and use another Ember attack right here just to get us a victory. Yes, yes, look at that. Okay, and there goes another be do, and everybody's growing. And well, this guy's gonna be coming out with a Zubat. You don't say. Okay, so let's go straight for Electro Star right here. Now, you guys already know I've had a Zubat on my team once or twice or maybe three times, but I'm, I'm thinking about using him just, uh, you know, just for shits and giggles because it, even though it just like it looks like it doesn't see anything, it's still a very reliable Pokemon to actually have. So there we go. Thundershock does its thing, and well, here comes the opposing Pokemon trainers. Astonish attack. That one doesn't really do much, so let's go straight again with a Thundershock yet again. And just like that, say goodbye to Zubat. Okay, all right. And, uh, well, everybody's growing levels, Hydra included. Okay, all right, everybody, you know, they're learning their stuff. It's Starblades, uh, le learned wing attack. Look at that. Okay, so we defeated we a youngster. A youngster is poor, 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 poor stuff right here. So, let's see. Um, let us move on. Since it is daytime, we're not, not going to get attacked by any of the night-type Pokemon right here. So, let's go ahead and just continue uh, battling right here. You know, kicking ass, taking names, destroying everything. Okay, so here we go. Youngster Dallas would like to battle us. And, well, here comes his Krikaton. Now, you only get this this Pokemon at night time. So, let us see what will happen. Let's go straight for the Ember attack. And, bam, Krikaton. Man, come on. Get it together, man. Really. And, well, let's see. More experience points for all of us. And, yes, Dallas, just like the Cowboys, crumble to the ground. Suck it, Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> Anywho, let's uh, let's just move on right here. And I found a, tra a trainer while looking for some Pokemon. Oh. Maybe it was a, a fateful encounter. I don't know. Alrighty, so here we go. Taking on last Caitlyn with an IN, and well, here's coming out with a view. I'm coming out with Inferno Mon. And well, let's go ahead and just take care of business again. Now, if I if I were to go up against an Inferno or a uh, Bidoof, obviously I'm gonna put him in a 
I'm going to put him in the PC because it's not really a Pokemon worth having on my team. Especially with what I found out later on going into this adventure that you don't necessarily need any HM or TM Pokemon right here. Or a HM Pokemon, I should say. And just like that, Bidoof has been defeated. Oh, yes. And, well, let's see. Coming out with a Star Elite, let's go straight to Electro Star right here. Electro Star. Let's go. Okay, alrighty. Electro Star looking like a like a champ right here. And, uh, well, let's see. Yes. Intimidating these people. And, well, let's go straight right here for the Thundershock. And, come on. Thundershock does its trick. Say goodbye to Starly. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay. And, well, here comes a Bidoo or Badoo. This is a Pokemon that, you know, I'm kind of thinking of using. Kind of. Mainly because it's like, you know, it's a grass and poison type Pokemon. It just seems very interesting to me. Very, very interesting to me. And, well, here comes Badoo. Not much of a player right here, but yes. Here we go. Umbra, Ember attack. And there we go. My Fire Monkey just destroys that little Badoo right there. Okay. Alrighty. And, well, Caitlyn has been defeated. She is not happy at all. Not. Not happy. Okay, so let us move on right here, and let's go ahead and skip over her and go right here. Grab this item. We found ourselves a Repel. And, well, let's see. There is a certain Pokemon that I kind of want from here. Just for, our, you know, our, our impending uh, gym battle. Like I said, uh, for our, in our impending battle, I kind of want a Pokemon right here. So I'm going to skip ahead to locate that Pokemon and hopefully get it to capture and all that stuff. So I'll be right back with you guys right here. And here we are, guys. The first try, we found ourselves in Abra. As you guys have already known, we've had Abra before. And this guy is at the right level of level 5. So I'm going to try and capture it with the Heal Ball. Now, this is, this is going to be a little difficult because it does teleport if you don't catch it. There's one. There's two. Come on. Three. And... Yes! I'm throwing out that peace sign. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. And yes, we caught Bidoof off screen, so yeah, that's kind of another thing right there, too. Okay, so here we have Abra added to the Pokedex. Say hello to Abra, the Psy Pokemon. 2 foot 11, you know, 43 pounds of pure, not puny muscle. It sleeps for 18 hours a day. Even when it when awake, it teleports itself while remaining seated. Huh. Okay, so... You guys already know what nickname I got this I got for this guy, so let's go right ahead and give it. Okay, so here we go. I bequeath you the name Ultra Psycho. Now I do know that there are some other Pokemon you can find in a specific area that you know that we'll be getting into later on. So let's see. Actually, that's the wrong way to spell it. Here we go. Psycho. Obviously, Ultra Psycho, the Psycho part, is uh, nicknamed after Psycho Plays because, you know, he's the homie that actually got me to, uh, well, he's the homie that inspired me to do to redo the whole concept of my channel right here. So thanks to him, he gets a Pokemon nickname and all that stuff. So anywho, go ahead and take, out, uh, take a look at our Pokemon right here. As you can see, we have a full team now, but we haven't gotten the option to swap out Pokemon from the Pokedex yet. We'll, we'll eventually get there later. But as you can see, we got Ultra Psycho, Psychic type Pokemon, Timid Nature, loves his sweet food. Attack, physical attack is not going to be there, but its speed is all the way up there. Now, it's not much of a physical attacker Pokemon. Come on. So, let's go right ahead and start battling some more trainers. Let's do it. Let's get it. Okay. Okay, so here we go. Madeline wants the battle, and, well, she will be coming out with her Starly. Now... I, I do realize that my team is consisting of Pokemon that are rather weak against uh, our good old buddy, uh, what's his face, Wark? Yeah. Yeah, it, 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 it's weak. So that's the reason why I have Ultra Cycle with me because, well, yeah, it is a Pokemon that can be useful against Wark. Now, there will be... You know, there is a little something-something that I could do to help me out. And, uh, well, let's see. Oh, wow. Electro Star. And everybody else is growing levels right here. Now, there is something that I can do later on in this, in this walkthrough right here that can actually help me out. 
I'll, sh I'll probably do it as an option just to get myself uh, a little leverage for this next uh, Pokemon battle right here. But here we go. Electro Star going up against Bu. All right, I'm looking at you. You're not a Water type Pokemon just yet. So let's go straight for the Thunder Shock attack. And there we go. Thunder Shock. There goes the Defense Curl. And oh my God! Oh my God! Okay, so let's go straight again for another Thunder Shock right here. And. That one defeats Bidoof, and uh, well, there's Michael playing the Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. Obviously, this is through my friends list, and well, Ultra Psycho grows to level 6. So this is probably what we're going to be doing. We're just going to be like training our Pokemon, battling anything and everything, guys, and capturing everything. Okay, so we haven't b battled this guy, so let's see. Uh, screw it, we're just going to be with the same thing. We're just going to do the same thing. Okay, so here we go. Bring it. Just bring it. Okay, so here we go. Taking on Youngster Sebastian. And Sebastian will be coming out with a Mod Chop. Now, this is a Pokemon that I I, I would get. That I kind of want to get to help me out in the next battle right here. I am getting prepared, guys. Don't worry. I got this. So here we go. Amber Attack. And that doesn't look like it was very effective. But this Pokemon right here is going to be focusing its energy. This is a bad sign. This means that you better hit it. The, you better you better hit it hard the next turn right here. And just like that, we defeated Machop. Say goodbye to the little man. And bam. Okay, so everybody's growing levels, Ultra Psycho included. Oh my God. Yes, we are getting this theme nice and formulated right here. Okay. All righty. All right, let's move on. Okay, so here we are into the Orber Gate now. Here's this individual who's going to look at us, and he's going to be like, Oh, looky here, you've got a Pokétech. Hmm. You're still, pretty, you're, still pretty, uh, you're still a pretty new trainer, aren't you? But it's all good. You're a new fellow friend of Pokémon. So let me give you, uh, let me make a gift of these technical machines to you. And we get ourselves TM-98. Now, there's a reason why there's a TM-98 instead of just TM-98. Okay? Obviously, this has Rock Smash. FYI, when you use a technical machine to teach your Pokemon move, that TM will break. So think very carefully about when you use it. I've also added a new feature to your Pokétech, the Rookie Trainer. And we get ourselves the Hidden Move app. Use the Rock Smash for your Pokétech, and uh, well, Pokemon will get rid of the boulders on your path. But to use a Hidden Move in the field, you'll need you'll need the Gym Badge from the Orbrook City Gym first. I'm looking forward to seeing your growth! So, here we have the new uh, Poketech app, the Hidden Moves. Use Hidden Moves from Hidden Moves app, Poketech, uh, app to remove or bypass obstacles. Why couldn't they do this before? So, let's go ahead and take a look at that app right here. So, let's go ahead and switch it. As you can see, we do have Rock Smash, and it is, not, it, it is grayed out, so right now we can't use it. That means... We can use a, we can use HMs anywhere we want. Now the other topic right here is hold on just a sec. Going to the bag, you go into the TMs, and you can see that we have three TM uh, TM uh, 98s. I don't know whose idea was it. I think it's lame, but they went back to they went back to not making uh, TMs unlimited anymore. I don't know why that is. It kind of, it, to me, it's lame. It really is. But they, the people who hand up, uh, who hand us TMs, will always give us three. Uh, obviously, that you can buy some certain TMs and all that stuff. There's no more HMs. You got the app, so that's another thing right there. So uh, yeah, pretty cool, huh? So I'm gonna give a TM98 to Inferno Mon right here since it can learn this move. It is a fighting type move, and you know we will be taking on a Pokemon, a Pokemon trainer that does have Rock type Pokemon. So might as well just have that. So there it is, two and three, and we got Rock Smash. So that's one down, and we got plenty more to go. So let's go ahead and move on right here, and battle some of these trainers. Let's go. Okay. We love Pokemon. Gonna be battling, kicking your ass. Dun, dun, dun. And here comes a Shinx. Okay, and I, I do like the background. Man, they really did. Uh, they really did uh, a good, a good job with the backgrounds and all that stuff. Pretty impressed. Pretty impressed. So here we go. 
Let's get it. Uh, you know what? Ember attack right here. Here we go. Ember attack. And that Shinx gets a big one. But here comes a Thunder Shock. And uh, thankfully, we do not get paralyzed. Remember, we're like we're, we're like a magnet to get paralyzed right here, guys. And well, Shinx defeated. Okay. Alrighty. And more of our Pokemon are growing level, which is great. Beedoof as well, because, well, you know, it's on our team. And uh, Ultra Psycho. Look at that. Okay. I do remember in Pokemon, like when I had Pokemon Diamond as Draven XC711, I did do Pokemon Diamond. I did finish it up. And. It, it, w it went well. I think I came out with uh, with Chimchar in this one. I think. I don't know. Not really. I don't know. I, I can't remember because it, it was so long ago that I did these walkthroughs that, you know, maybe it was a good idea. Maybe it wasn't a good idea to uh, delete them. I don't know. But, hey, 10,000 subscribers says uh, otherwise. And... Well, here we go up against Badoo. And, well, let's go straight up for... Ember attack right here, and Badoo getting its Badoo kick. So, look at that. Defeated. And everybody else is just getting it. And, well, she's about to come out with a Psyduck, so let's go with Electro Star right here. Holy crud. What are, okay, so we gotta go down. There we go. Electro Star. Alright, that's cool. That's great. That's awesome. And here comes Electro Star, aka Sheets. And, uh, well, there is Psyduck, and, well, we're intimidating this Pokemon right here, looking all bland and everything. And here comes a Cloud Nine, which, you know, it did, takes away the, uh, the weather effects and all that stuff. So here goes, Thundershock, and that right there hits it pretty hard, but here comes a Scratch Attack from the Psyduck. Alright, let's go, Psyduck, prepare to lose with this. Okay, alright. And uh, no more Psyduck. Okay. Alrighty, and just like that, more of our Pokemon are growing levels, and, wait, who's learning Power of Punch? Are you freaking serious? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, well, let's go ahead and give it to Chimchar. <laughs> Should have learned that. Okay, so, ta-da, we learned Power of Punch, we kind of wasted a TM on a Pokemon that we didn't really need to use it on. Wow, that's uh, that's hilarious. That's awesome. That's great. That's that's fantastic. Okay, I feel I feel enlightened and all that stuff. <sighs> okay, I'm going to take that away. All right, let's move on. And here we are, guys. We are finally in Orberg City. And just like that, this trainer right here is like, Howdy, trainer! If you don't have a single gym badge, other trainers will look down on you like you're a total noob, right? So, I'll show you where the town's gym is. Okay, so we're going to be walking, and walking, and walking. And, uh, yes, we are walking. Okay, so here we are. There's somebody in front of the Pokemon gym. I am not going to talk to you right now because I am totally not... Well, I don't know. I don't, I, yeah, I, don't, I just don't want to talk to you right now. So, anywho, here we are in Orber City, guys. In the next episode, I'm going to be doing a few things before we go in and just, you know, battle the trainer and, and, and all that stuff. Because we can't. But we're going to be staying here. I'll see you guys in the next one, in the next episode. Hopefully, you know, a little bit more of the, the story progresses from here. So thank you guys again for watching. I will see you guys next time.